Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Chris, and we're on day 19 of Inktober already, with today's prompt being dizzy. Actually, I hope I got that right. You know, sometimes I find myself not double checking these things. I wonder if I ever just make them up. Give me one second here. Yeah, it's dizzy. Even if it wasn't, you know, I'm kind of at the point where I kind of just want to draw whatever it is I want to draw. And if I can incorporate the prompt into it, that's fine. So let's see here. I've got some, uh, some other things on the list here to look at. So tomorrow's for October 20th, it's going to be Coral. We have Sleep, Chef, Rip, Dig, Buddy, Hide, Music, Float, Choose, Ominous, and Crawl. Man, that's a... I don't know if I like that ending. It ends with Crawl. Uh, I guess that's a little spooky. I wonder... How is it that they... I don't know much about the rules or the origins of Inktober in general. Like, who comes up with this prompt list? Uh, is it Jake Parker himself? Is he the creator of it? Huh. Okay, well, um... Yeah, I, I guess he... Okay, so he's an American Comics short story creator. Oh, cool. He has some neat art, now that I'm looking at it here. Okay, anyways, uh, back to the drawing. Today I'm drawing Ami Onuki from Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi, shown on Cartoon Network. And you know, I was thinking of maybe doing Yumi Yoshimura, but... I don't know. Uh, I just decided on Ami. I, I always like, if, if you look through some of my art, I always like doing uh, Cartoon Network characters or these cartoon characters. It, it always seems like there's less art of them than there are of like anime characters, so... Uh, I like to show representation for that. You know, Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi's art style is something a little reminiscent of a lot of the art styles you see now for Cartoon Network cartoons. Which is strange, you know, how, how cartoons kind of shifted in animation quality. I guess it depends on what you mean by quality, right? I would say the fluidity of frame-by-frame -frame animation has, for the most part, been put off to the side. If you look at something like these old rubber hose cartoons, or even something as long as Tom and Jerry has been airing, a lot of the fluidity still try to imitate life in some way. And now, I know they call it like the CalArt style, which is, you know, this sort of simplistic, thick, bolded line, Steven Universe and Amazing World of Gumball type style. A lot of times it's iconic because of this embossed cheek that a lot of them tend to have on their characters' faces. You know, it's one of the reasons that when Cuphead came out, I was so excited that there was a team that had enough passion or a studio, if not a single person that had enough passion to kickstart this huge project. And a lot of these studios already specialize in the type of um, animation that they do, or even the type of video games that they do. So you kind of know what you're getting, or what you expect from them. Which can be bad when their quality starts to dwindle. You know you're expecting something and sometimes it can be the opposite too you see a lot of companies don't like to innovate because they have a formula that works and they know people will buy their product regardless because it's something that worked in the past and people love but when a company isn't innovative it's easy for customers to to see how much the company has plateaued or how much their quality has dwindled or remained the same. You know, even if one of the big examples is when you look at Apple, a lot of the innovation has stopped, but 
seemingly technology is limitless. So why have we gotten so many of the same iPhone? Yeah, people like it, but if you haven't shown the people what something new can be, then we, we're not going to know any better. Or people aren't going to know any better. At least, you know, the general public. If you're willing to do your own research, you'll, you'll know that there's a lot more out there. But instead, we're just getting the same iPhone with upgraded features. And there's nothing new there. Whereas you look at something like Nintendo, they're always innovating their new system. It could be anybody's guess what their next console is going to look like. It could honestly look like a, like a floating soda can on top of a sphere. And somehow they came out with this new mechanic for game systems where you put on a pair of sunglasses and I don't fucking know, it also acts as a controller. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this drawing. This has been day 19 of Inktober. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the rest of the Inktober playlist. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all on day 20. We're almost there, 11 more days. Have a great rest of your day.